We begin with a story new this morning at 6 a.m. Governor Gina Raimondo was once one of the least popular governors in our country. But a new poll released in just the last few minutes shows halfway through her first term in office, her approval numbers are now on the rise. I've been a news reporter Jillian Pixoto live at the State House this morning with the results of this new survey. Good morning, Danielle and Patrick. Well, the poll does show some promising numbers for Governor Gina Raimondo. More than 470 registered Rhode Islanders were polled over the past few months, and the results show the governor's approval rating has gone up 10% since the last rankings poll was taken, and that was done back in September. So let's take a closer look. 48% of respondents say Raimondo is doing a good job, up from 38% in September. 45% of Rhode Islanders polled disapprove of the job she's doing, and despite the big boost in her overall approval rating, Raimondo was ranked 38 out of all 50 U.S. Senators. This may seem low, but it's actually an increase. Just seven months ago, Raimondo was the third most unpopular governor in the nation. Now, supporters may attribute the governor's boost in ratings to several new proposals, including her free college tuition plan, proposed car tax cut, and minimum wage increase. Critics point to the failed rollout of the state's new UHIP benefits system and say many of her proposals are unrealistic and will hurt the taxpayer. The governor's spokesperson is encouraged by the new poll to Telling Eyewitness News, quote, the Rhode Islanders the governor talks to in coffee shops across the state are encouraged that businesses have added 15,000 jobs since the 2014 election and that Rhode Island's unemployment rate is below the national average for the first time since 2005. Now, this all comes as opponents will likely start emerging to take on the governor in her re-election bid next year. So far, no one has explicitly announced that they will be running against her. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Julianne Pixoto, Eyewitness News.